Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 mission Polito score setup, where we'll wait for a bus. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game, between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series getting gold in every damn mission in GTA 5, as we take a look at the Grand Theft Auto mission Polito score setup. And don't forget to hang about until the end so you can catch our bonus recommendations on how to max your take in the actual heist. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news and giveaways, so consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this mission is pretty straightforward, as long as you're reasonable on a bike. To get gold, all we need to do is drive to the bus stop in under 3 minutes and 30 seconds and win the race back to the lab. Right, so we will take control of Michael in just a moment. There we go. Hang a left and then down the stairs through the storeroom out to the back of the shop and into Michael's awaiting car. Don't mind Marnie, she's still hassling me from the Epsilon Institute. And we've just, uh, we'll wait for Trevor. Now we need to get moving pretty quick smart. I found the easiest way is just to go cross country here until you hit the major road. There we go. Now the trick is to just follow the GPS, but go absolutely as fast as this dinky little machine will take us. Because we only have 3 minutes and 30 seconds to get to the bus stop. All right, watch out for traffic as you cross over the highway. Hopefully it'll give way to you. And again, turn on and go flat strap. And as we pull into the town of Polito Bay, we can see our destination on the right there. So we'll just uh, get past this truck and then pull around to the right. There we are. So we're heading to the bus stop just on the left, and that's a, it's a nice car for this area. All right, there's the marker. Oh, sorry. Now, I can't help but feel that uh, Trevor and Michael could have timed this better. It looks like they were sitting waiting for the bus for the best part of 12 hours instead of simply asking Lester when it arrived but hey that's Rockstar for you right so we'll have a bit more of a, a cut scene here but you know what it doesn't matter anyway we're not on a time limit so it's good to enjoy some of the exposition and here's Lester All right, so we'll, we'll all pile into the car, and very nice of Trevor to open the door for him. That's very gentlemanly. He surprises us every now and then, Mr. Phillips. All right, and then we just need to do a U-turn and follow the yellow marker to the bank. We just want to head over to the car park there to see what goes down. Off to the left here, and we'll just pull up in front. There we go. So use the toggle there for a quick look around. Excellent, and the next marker is just around the corner, so head over to the vacant lot there, and we'll have a look at the alarm system. And out we pop. So, just in case you're not sure what we're focusing on, it's that little white hexagonal jobby. So grab your firearm. I don't think I've got a silencer here, so it'll make some noise, but that's okay. Pop the alarm jump in the car and we'll go wait at the servo across the road. All right, pull in here on the left. Don't know how I managed to botch that, but I did. And now we just wait for the response. Again, there's some really good exposition happening here. And if you didn't notice as well, there was a bike pulling in. That'll be important in a few moments. So Lester will explain the details, Trevor will explain that this is a bigger heist than it looks like, and that it might get a bit feisty. 
But all we can really do is wait. We can't go anywhere. We can't do anything. We just have to wait for the response. Should take less than a minute though. There's our first one and our second and our third, fourth. So as Lester and Michael noted, that seems to be quite a large response for a small town bank. So we suspect quite strongly that Trevor is in fact correct. This is where all the dirty money is stored. All right, Trevor's off. We'll just swap over to him. There we go. Grab that bike that, that gentleman so kindly left for us. And we need to make sure that we beat Michael back to the lab. Lean forward on the bike to gain some extra acceleration, a little bit of extra speed, but not too far forward that you end up losing control and going arm over if you go over a bump. All right, now this will take you off road. It is still the most efficient way at it, even though it's a little bit out of the way and this bike really isn't built for it, but we'll still get back there before Michael and Lester do. So where you can take shortcuts as well, do that. Rather than going around that, we could go straight over. Just bear in mind that Trevor isn't wearing a helmet a lot of the time and there might be animals around, so you need to take it easy around them. Okay, and now it's just a case of following the GPS back to the lab. Okay, and as we head back into town, we can see there no one's behind us, so that's always handy. Swing off to the left, and you can see where the lab is there on the left. So another one of those ones where it's pretty much flat out the whole way, and then pulls you up to a pretty quick stop on its own. And of course, we've beat Michael and Lester, so now we can head up and plan out the heist. Okay, so this finishes up with a cracker of a cutscene and it takes some time. So let's just assume that's gold and look at our top tips on how to max your take for the actual heist. So if you're experienced with GTA and can handle a firearm in the game, pick Daryl Johns. He's next to useless but only has a 9% cut. If you're newer to the game and have trouble aiming under pressure, Chef is your best choice. He's got a slightly higher cut at 12%, but is actually helpful. Chef might be a little more expensive, but you'll lose less money during the actual heist. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers, or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the setup mission, Military Hardware, or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.